The calcaneus is the largest bone of the foot. It is also referred to as the heel bone. The calcaneus articulates with the talus, forming the subtalar joint via three articular facets that we will talk about shortly. And anteriorly, it articulates with the cuboid, forming the calcaneal cuboid portion of the metarsal joint. This is a right calcaneus. At the posterior portion of the superior surface, we have the Kager's fat pad, which separates the Achilles tendon from the ankle joint. The fat pad serves as a cushion to reduce friction between the tendon and the bone. Also on the superior surface, we have the posterior, middle, and anterior talar facets. And these three facets together articulate with the talus to form the subtalar joint. The posterior talar facet articulates with the posterior facet on the body of the talus. The middle talar facet articulates with the middle facet on the head of the talus. And the anterior talar facet articulates with the anterior facet on the head of the talus. The middle and anterior talar facets may be fused, and this is a good example of that. The calcaneal sulcus is located between the middle and posterior talar facets. The calcaneal sulcus courses anteriorly and laterally to open into the sinus tarsi of the calcaneus. The calcaneal sulcus combines with the sulcus tali to form the tarsal canal. Finally, the middle talar facet is located on the superior surface of the sustentaculum tali. At the inferior surface, we have the calcaneal tuberosity, which is divided into a medial and lateral process, and the medial process is larger. At the anterior aspect of the inferior surface, there is a tubercle, and distal to that tubercle is a transverse groove. The sustentaculum tali is found on the medial surface. The groove on the inferior surface allows passage for the tendon of flexor hallucis longus. And once again, at the superior surface, we find the middle talar facet. The retrotrochlear eminence is located near the center of the lateral surface. Anterior to the eminence is a peroneal tubercle. The groove superior to the tubercle allows passage for the tendon of peroneus brevis. And the groove below allows passage for the tendon of peroneus longus. And superior to the retrotrochlear eminence is a peroneal spine, which serves as the attachment of the calcaneal fibular ligament. The anterior surface is saddle-shaped and articulates with the cuboid. And the posterior surface is divided into three parts. The upper one-third is smooth and contains a bursa. And the middle one-third is rough and serves as the attachment for the tendons of tendocalcaneus or Achilles and the plantaris tendon and the lower one-third is also rough.